the Republican Party is not going to allow the IRS to spy on your banking accounts. On this single topic alone, I've gotten more emails and calls in the last three weeks than I have on any other item over the last the times I've been in the United States Senate. So here's what's going on. As a part of what the President is proposing with his re reckless tax and spending bill, he wants to give $80 billion of additional money to the Internal Revenue Service. Janet Yellen wants to use that money, the Secretary of Treasury, to hire a whole new army of IRS agents. She has said she wants those agents to have access to your personal bank accounts, your checking accounts, to the point where she said that any, any check that you would write or any deposit you would make for anything above $600 would have to be reported to the IRS. Their goal, of course, is to squeeze more money out of hardworking taxpayers, and they want to use that money that they squeeze out of hardworking taxpayers to pay for their big government socialist agenda. Now, number one, this is an invasion of privacy of American citizens. And number two, it turns bankers and credit unions into de facto IRS agents. And they don't want any part of it either. This is the topic that came up repeatedly when I was at grocery stores in Wyoming this past weekend. The IRS is the most powerful and truly unresponsive or unaccountable agency of government. And they have proven they're unable to keep tax records secure. Proven it. We are not going to allow Joe Biden to give the IRS more power. We want to stop this in its tracks. I want to be able to tell cowboys in Wyoming that if they make a payment on their pickup truck or buy a saddle for their horse, they're not going to have an IRS agent along for the ride.